All right, what is up, everybody? How are you? How are you doing tonight? Um, we're going to continue with some Gundam Breaker Three. So we left off last time doing the final DLC. Um, at least getting into it. We did not finish it yet. Um, hold on, what? All right, all my sounds are off. Wasn't sure if they were. Okay, so we got a chapter five. That's not it. The DLC missions, perhaps. So build kingdom. We're on chapter two. I'm not quite sure how long this is compared to the other chapters. The other ones had like four missions in them. I'm, I think this one might have more. Um, also, you'll notice with the mic, there's like a, I have a pop filter on it now. So the one I ordered didn't fit. Um, it said it would on Amazon, but it didn't. So like there's these little bands that go around it um, to hold it on. And I don't have them on currently. I just kind of like wrapped it around it. So if it falls off midstream, that's why. Uh, we'll see what happens though. Uh, in terms of our unit, oh, real quick, uh, the Red Wing version 2 didn't change at all, same as it was before. Uh, what are we doing here? Hardcore. Oh, no, no, we don't want to do that. Hold on. We want to do mission 2 on hardcore, not extreme. I don't think we're quite ready for extreme yet. Can't tell. There we go. All right. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna finish the DLC. Hopefully tonight. I don't think it's that long. And then after that, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I guess we'll start extreme mode. Yeah. What up, TZ? I'm glad that you're cleaning your car. That makes me happy. Not that you're well. I guess that I'm happy that you're cleaning your car, but I'm also happy that you're watching this while you're uh, cleaning your car. <clears throat> All right. So I guess we have G Gundam units in this mission, which is I guess that's kind of cool. I think I selected the correct mission. I'm I'm questioning it now. Ow, we just got burning fingered, I think. No, shining fingered. Oh, that's cool. It's like it's uh, it, the the uh, the armor on it's opened up now. It's in super it's in super mode. I want to try out some of the G Gundam units at some point. Because <clears throat> I'm a big fan of Master Gundam, and and I know he has like unique moves and whatnot in this game. So I kind of want to check that out. Oh, it's a monolith. Shit, we need to go over there. All right, these guys seem a lot stronger than they did last time. Like they're they're a lot tankier. That is, it has okay a straight gold frame of Amatsu. That it had like the claws on its back. They're not really claws. They wrap you up though. I think they drain your health. So I guess we'll take them out then get the monolith. <sighs> Dude, this has been like the longest week ever. I don't know why. It's just like the last three days has been dragging really hard. I'm excited tomorrow is Friday. And I went from like not having anything to do at work to being extremely busy in a matter of like an hour today. And that's always fun. People like to wait to the last minute to do everything, so dealing with that's always enjoyable. All right, first monolith down. Oh, also, so I, I did look up like uh, some of the other SD Gundams in the game. So we have the Super Dragon version of Robota right now. They're, they're, and there's like like five or six empty slots above them. Those are all units you get at some point in the game. I don't know why we haven't unlocked them yet. You maybe get them on extreme mode or something like that. I'm not sure though. Cause like we're at the end of the DLC and you get them before you unlock his current form. So I don't know, I don't know why. I guess maybe I, you're supposed to play the regular game on extreme mode first. 
Cause I guess it really depends on like how the game came out. Cause I'm, you had like the full, you had the base game obviously way back when. And then I don't know what the gap was between the, the DLC. So maybe it's expected that you would have completed the mobile campaign on um on extreme mode or even new type to unlock those additional SD Gundams. <clears throat> Cause there's also some um, some units that aren't DLC units that we haven't even seen yet. And you know, all the master grades. We've seen no master grades yet. Uh, we've unlocked no master grades, rather. So I'm assuming that's what it has to be. Yeah, dude, like I, uh, my current role is more like system engineering than electrical or software. And um, so I'm basically writing documentation. And we have a document due in uh, a week and a half. And I finished it two and a half weeks ago and sent it out for like a peer review and no one's looked at it yet. And like, I, I don't like, I don't know why no one's looked at it. Like, I, I emailed everybody and said, hey, you know, we need to get these comments in so I could like, you know, do the second, the second revision of this document. And it's like nothing, just like, I don't know. I guess it's not everybody, everybody has different priorities. And I guess the one document I'm on that's due soon isn't a priority. I don't know. But it's super annoying. I always, and I feel like I had to take charge and like do something about it. And like, I'm like a new guy. I've only been there for two months. And I feel like I shouldn't be doing that, I guess. But at the same time, I guess it shows initiative to do it. So I don't know. It's kind of like a weird situation. Oh, definitely for sure there's no doubt in my mind that's what's gonna happen <clears throat> like I like my new job um, the, the only thing is like a lot of the guys on my team also were recently hired it was kind of like all part of this new project starting and um, so and no one's really up on the on the company and like how it goes and how everything works so I feel like that has a part to play in it too, because like no one really talks to each other yet that much. Everyone's kind of quiet, especially with like the pandemic and all that shit. So I mean I get it. It's just you know I don't want to be stuck putting in like a crazy amount of hours one week because people put off work to the last minute when I was trying to be proactive. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what my last job, what what it was always like, was shit would get put off to the last minute and then we'd end up working, you know an 80 hour week or something crazy like that so like I'm really trying to avoid that situation again so hopefully you know that's how it goes for the most part because that crazy work schedule that I used to work where it was like, I was getting home at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Well, I'd go to work at 7, 30 and get home at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Basically go to bed and do it again. I mean, that's part of the reason why I had to quit streaming for a long time. Because like my schedule just was nowhere near consistent or stable. Including my mental state during that time. So I, I just really don't want to have a repeat of that. Because like you work your ass off like that. And you know, in the end, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it, like individual people might acknowledge that, but like, oh, like, in the end, you're kind of just a body. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the sad reality of corporate America. It's just you're not important. It almost like reminds me of that meme. Uh, actually, Dalton shared it the other day. It was uh, it's like you'll have that on the, on these big jobs sometimes. And I feel like it, there's just some things that happen no matter what goes on at one company. So like I get it to an extent, and like I don't mind working extra hours sometimes and whatnot. It just you know when it becomes the normal, it gets bad. <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Like I said, so far, it's not been a bad experience with the new company. Just little annoyances that I feel like are just consistent no matter where you're at. And it just could be possibly part of the way that I work too. 
because I like to collaborate and I like to talk to other people about what I'm doing because it helps me learn and understand what I'm doing a lot better. And so it's just been a, it's been an adjustment with that not being a thing really. Like it's a thing if you force it to be a thing. Uh, and then I feel annoying when I'm like bothering people talking to them about shit. But at the same time, you know, I want this shit to get done right. So. I think this might be the last area for this mission. Nah, or th there'll probably be another monolith here, maybe? Oh, no, I guess there's another area. Yeah, so back to this pop filter. I bought this random one off of um, Amazon that was supposed to fit. Obviously, it didn't. Um, and it's barely on right now. So I was going to order like the, the pop filter that like is is for this mic literally it's like the one that the same that samson came out with and it's on back order like everywhere from every website and it's like maybe like a couple months out so like i, I don't i guess during the whole quarantine thing everyone decided to start a, start a podcast or a live stream or something because i can't see any other reason why the, the mic market would be so sold out <laughs> it's very very strange just need a sock. Yeah, but I want it to look nice. A sock, a sock would not look nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that applies to a lot of different things. Not just, but the microphone one was just kind of weird. And like, like I don't know if I, I've mentioned this story probably, I don't think on stream before. Um, me and my girlfriend, well, TZ knows it, but uh, we were gonna buy a, uh, a blender like a, like a ninja blender like a nice one like a nicer one rather than what we had and they were sold out everywhere they were sold out at target they were sold out at kohl's they were sold out on amazon and it's like what the fuck like what why i guess everyone's blending foods all of a sudden because they're at home all the time i ended up finally finding one like two months later but it still was crazy like it was such a random thing to be sold out somewhere Your motherboard's on one month back order. I, I mean, I could, yeah, I mean, I feel like people probably all went and bought computer parts. That wouldn't be surprising to me. Whoa, what is going on with the camera? How long have you been, have you been waiting for your motherboard, TZ? Like, did you just order one recently? Or has it been a while? Like, is your month just starting? <laughs> All right. All right, there's another model from this stage then. That kind of sucks. Did you buy anything else besides the motherboard? I'm assuming you got a new CPU then, right? That was the reason you bought a new motherboard? Gotcha, you order it won't ship for a month. I've been thinking about doing a new PC build, like from the ground up. Um, I don't really have a reason to, I guess. Just kind of want to do it. I really want to get a better graphics card. I mean, I have a 1070, which is fine. Um, but I would like a one of the one of the new ones, one of the RTX like 2070 or something like that. But I can only imagine how much they cost. 
I haven't really looked into it, but I'm sure it's not cheap. Yeah, so once you get your once your CPU comes in, you can just put your computer back together. Dude, while you got it open up, you might as well buy more parts. You should just buy a new graphics card and everything now. New RAM. Fuck it. Go in. Dude, I uh, the the biggest improvement in like my computer overall in the last like couple years was upgrading from an HDD to an SSD. It like made a world of difference on like everything on my on the games I played on my computer on startup time obviously like everything. I was only like you know like six years late to the party, but I got there eventually. Oh, there's Rose Gundam. That's a new one. It has funnels. Let's see how they work. Little rose funnels. It probably has unique abilities too. I don't understand why they put dragon, rose, shining, burning. Why, why not maxer and bolt then? Like, why not just put the whole team in? And rising Gundams in this is also. Like, I don't understand. And Matt, well, Matt, Master obviously being a bad guy, but I'm just very surprised they didn't put the whole the whole cast in. Ooh, speaking of, I might actually stream tomorrow because I believe Mobile Suit Gundam um, Extreme versus Maxi Boost On or whatever it's called is an is a open de open uh, beta or whatever. And apparently they added like a, a single player mode to it among the fighting style game mechanic or like the versus mode and everything. It looks really cool. And there's like 185 units in it, I believe. So like everything you could ever want. God damn it. Yeah, I might check and see if that's available to uh to play tomorrow. Cause normally on Friday and Saturday I play I, I uh catch up on WoW and, and League. But if I can play that I'll play that instead. Gundam is down. Who's left? Shining Gundam gun goes. It's in super mode now, I think. Yeah, there it, there it goes. All right, wings, and you're dead. All right, we got more limit breakers. Yep. And complete. I think. All right, yeah, we have Gundam Rose stuff probably. We can look at that. Lustia, Blustia Cannon from the Gundam H3 normal body, and then Rose Hurricane from Gundam Rose. Oh, from the arm. Oh, because the uh, the the uh, funnels are in its uh, like cape arm shield thing. That makes sense. Chevalier Saber. So it's, we could use that as a weapon. I don't like it though. I'm not a rapier guy, personally. We didn't even get a rose gun him head. Oh, the, no, there it is. It's kind of interesting, I guess. It's supposed to be like a, it's, I believe rose gun is from France, so. Yeah, we got the arms. Rose Bit and Rose Screamer. We got a an item that buffs Cyclone Axe, which is good. ま、こんなところでつまずいたりはしないよ。ここから始まる本線はAとBのブロックに分かれてファーストステージ、セカンドステージ。セミファイナル。そしてファイナルって進んでいくんだ。A 
A ブロックで登録されてる。Alright, we're in A ブロック。I don't know why they're called. セミファイナルまでは。Why there's no K in block, but. ファイナルは正式動ステーションでやるらしい。<笑>ぜひともまた行ってみたいもんだな。私もまた行きたい。またガンダムに乗りたい。そういやあれまだあそこにあるんだよな。Oh, the Gundam that saved us is still floating around up there. 大気圏突入できたらいいのにね。仮にできても。What up, Ronderix? Uh, everything's like 2021 ish, I think. Uh, right now. And I believe I'm on the last. Well, I'm on the tail end of the DLC. I don't know how many missions are left, but. Yeah, so. Yep, everything is 20, and then my, my backpack in my head is 21. I could upgrade further now, I just haven't. Because、um, we haven't, haven't really ran into a problem going to the DLC on hardcore.、Um, once I finish the DLC, I'll probably go and upgrade further、uh, for extreme mode. Yeah, so I've just kind of been repping out missions over and over again just to get through it and try to unlock all the different suits before I do anything, any more upgrades and whatnot. And I got a bunch of limit breakers now, too, which is good. All right, we got Xeon Aquatic Suits. I don't think they were, norm they were normally in, in any of the other missions, though. So that's probably a good place to farm them. It'd be cool to do a Zagok build, like some like, crazy version of it. I would either do the Zagok or the High Gog. I don't know which one I would pick yet. I feel like the High Gog looks good the way it is, and it'd be kind of hard to add to it. Whereas the Zagok is like kind of more, I don't know, I guess sturdy. It's more stocky in its build, so you can add some cool backpacks and shoulder parts and whatnot to it that would look pretty cool. And I haven't used claw weapons yet. So I'm, gonna, I'm wondering how long it'll take. Until we see the glitch with my backpack. It happened like three or four times last stream, so we'll see if. I don't know, I don't know what, what does it, but we'll see if it happens again. Well, there's chests on the map, I think. Yeah. Grab these. I would show you guys the glitch, but I have no idea what, what actually prompts it to happen. Essentially, what happens though is I send out my, my, um, the shields from the Phoenix backpack, and they like fly off the map and don't come back until、uh, either I recall them and I have to recall them in NTD mode, or I have to get into NTD mode again for them to appear again. It's really weird. And I think it might have something, something to do with my builder part funnels and my, my legs. Because when I use them now, the backpack comes off and then goes back on. And I think it's because the way the funnels work, when they, when they spread out from my legs, they, they would cross over to where the backpack is. So they, they come off to get out of the way. Not entirely sure.、Uh, that's a new squad. All right, let's see if it. Okay, they're, they're good this time. Someone's gonna get the wings here in a second. I don't know who yet. Actually, they're both gonna get it right now. I think I, got, I caught both a minute. Maybe? No, I didn't get him. Or he might have w e n t into burst mode and got knocked out of it.
Thankfully, I still have not gotten sick of the unicorn music turning on all the time. But I do kind of want to put on the One Year War theme song as a builder part, just to listen to that the whole time. It would be a huge waste of a builder part, but... Wait. Are we not? Oh, we're good. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Same squad? No. I don't think so. No. Susano. Well, not a- wait, wait, what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? That's bad. What the fuck? Oh my god. What? What the fuck? Was that a trap or something? I don't think it's that traps. second here can I do this let's see how do we do this make that go away yeah feel okay they're filled mines yeah that's actually the first time I, I timed someone I uh, or timed out somebody I think normally RP does it for me <clears throat> but he's on a, a camping trip right now <laughs> be gone bot one of my uh, favorite YouTubers slash streamers has a, uh, a button on his stream deck that yells be gone thought whenever he bans somebody. It's kind of funny. How high up can I go? Oh, to right there, I guess. It'd be cool if you can fly up on the roof. All right, now what? Next squad. They actually look pretty badass. Oh, they, what the fuck? Why do they get those? I'll take that. Wait, can they knock me out of mine? Oh god. Ah. Stop. Alright. Give me this one too. Give me it. Come on. We'll just destroy this one, I guess. Knock him out. Oh, it's gone now. That's fine. So yeah, like right there. Whoa, what is that? What was that weapon? That looked really cool. When I sent out my regular funnels on my legs right there, my backpack came off. And I think that's why it might derp out sometime and end up off the map somewhere. It probably won't do it this entire stream now, because I'm talking about it. The last time I did it. I've been kind of fucked up. Wait, what the hell was Kabaka? Ka what, what the fuck was that? I don't, I don't know what, what unit that is. Yeah, that one. What you just. Kabakali. I think I'm saying that correctly. If that's not how you say it, then I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> Alright. Another set of challengers down. 
新たな一ページが加わったようだなんだかよくわかりませんがあやと商店街チームファーストステージ I mean I think that was relatively easy for us to survive the first stage oh, we got boxes uh, uh, gun and recon quick Recon Gista in G. Wow, that was a, a mouthful. <sighs> I've actually never watched that. Is there, I think there's only one season of that. Am I correct in saying that? Like 25 episodes or something? I don't think we got anything new. Except for this. Oh, that actually looks kind of badass, that head. Nothing special, but invisible titanium photon batter battery and photon balancer. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think its head may have only dropped, though. Yeah. Huh. That was cool. That's another unit that I was wondering when, when it would show up. First stage clear. I did know that, Ronderix. I, I, never, I haven't heard much good about Jireko. I still would like to watch it at some point, just because I'd like to watch all the Gundam series that I haven't seen yet. あちこち見て回ってるんだろう。一緒の飛行機で来たんだが、すぐ消えてしまった。自由だな。オンラインなら今日はオフだったんだ。別に構わないさ。そろそろ次が始まる時間だ。失礼するよ。こっちも準備する
At least in the animation style. In, in the games that it's in, it doesn't look that bad. But it is a very distinct look compared to other Gundams. But in, in the same vein, I mean, the Gundams from Iron Blooded Orphan are pretty unique too. So, I mean, and I know that a lot of people didn't like didn't like Ibia because it wasn't, you know, it was a little more focused on like a small group of characters, whereas Gundam plots usually get a lot bigger than that. I mean, I personally really enjoyed Iron Blooded Orphans. I thought it was really good. It's a nice, uh, it's a good anime or a good Gundam series to to show people if they've never seen anything from Gundam before to get them interested in it because it has more uh, contemporary anime tropes. And the more people that get interested in Gundam, the better, because that means they'll release more stuff in the U.S., which is obviously the goal in the end. Because I remember growing up, like, I watched, like, Wing Gundam on Toonami and, like, a couple other... I think they had, like, the 8th MS team on, maybe Adult Swim at some point. I know Shar's Counterattack was on Adult Swim at some point. And, uh, among other... Uh, I think Double O was on, was on uh, Sci-Fi. So like I've watched these shows, but like to cons like it was it was like hard to consume Gundam content back in the day, because you couldn't get anything. Like I remember getting the Shars Counterattack DVD and like losing my shit, and finding the Eighth MS Team series at a uh, FYE. What is it called? FYE? I think it's FYE. Is the store. And like that's the I have like the Anime Legends version of of uh. The 8th MS team, which the Anime Legends version of all that, of all Gundam stuff is extremely expensive. But I got it for like 25 bucks. Because <laughs> it was like sold in stores then. Okay, I didn't know that, Ronder. It's just set in the... The regular century. So, oh, so it's actually part of the Universal Century still? That's cool. I was I didn't know that. Well, you know what I mean, the same timeline as the Universal Century, not not in the Universal Century, obviously it was after it, but... Huh, yeah, I don't know, it's not, it's not a uh, separate universe. I also think this might be a new map. I'm pretty sure. Cause isn't the uh, the Gundam from G-Reco, isn't it very small compared to other Gundams? Like in size? It looks small at least from like the animation. Alright, we got... Uh, wait, is that a... Uh, that's Char, Char Zaku in some sort of food behind it with a Xeon symbol. We got a Gundam mug. What else we got over here? Looks like more Gundam food stuff. <laughs> oh, it is? Okay. Same height as the RX-78-2. Hey, speaking of which, there's a Ted. Stop blocking my attack. Oh, it's a ball. I didn't know there's the ball. But it's the first time we've seen it in the game. Besides the time that Ronderix had a, a unit built with it. By the way, one thing that kind of bugs me, the G Lucifer apparently uh, has Moonlight, Moonlight Butterfly. Is the G Lucifer from um, Recon G, uh, G Reco rather? So I'm not going to say that full title every time. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck was that? It stunned me.
Well, that's a little broken that it has the movement butterfly. Wonder, wonder what's up with that. Did um, the Tomino have anything to do with G Reco? Out of curiosity. Because I know he had, uh, he was part of um, turn A. So maybe if he was part of G Reco, that's why they included that. He may have wanted it in there. If he wasn't, then it's just kind of paying tribute, I guess, in some way. And it's a cool concept that's in Gundam. That is kind of weird, though. Because I always thought that was unique to the turn A. Okay, well that makes sense then. I could see why, yeah, Tomino. Yeah, I could see why he, that, that the uh, G Lucifer had the Moonlight Butterfly then, right? Because wasn't that one of his ideas? Because it's from turn A. I mean, that is a little weird that it's kind of, I mean, it, turn A is part of the Universal Century, isn't it? In some way? I don't know, this is the deep Gundam lore. I'm not trying to sound like an idiot right now, but I actually don't know. <laughs> Basic manipulator. Oh, we got the the arm from the ball. Did we get the ball though? We got the cannon from the ball, which is apparently its head. Uh, we didn't get the we didn't get the body. Oh well. Okay. I'm following. Yeah, I thought I I did think there was something in turn A where it connected like all the different universes. No choice but to use magic. Okay. <laughs> uh, was it like a secret password or some shit, or is it the virus? I wonder. Okay, yeah, so it's the virus or hacking or something. Not magic. All right. Um, okay, next mission. Things are going to start getting interesting here. I swear, if we go up in that space elevator again and we get... De or uh, detached again and, and the Gundam saves us again. I'm like, come on. They could have did better than that. Oh, wait, is that the final? Oh, semi semi-finals. Okay. I'm gonna get go out on a limb now and guess we're going to fight Will in the finals again. Now, that's a guess, so anything could happen, but I don't think there's any other characters that we know. So the fact that G Lucifer has Moonlight, Moonlight Butterfly, it's kind of uh-oh, because I believe it's the only other mobile suit with that function besides Turn A and Turn X. Yeah, I don't believe I've ever heard of anything else having it. I didn't even know that G Lucifer had it until you just mentioned that there, because uh, obviously I've never seen G Reco before. And up until that point, I was only aware of uh, that being a Turn A thing. And Turn X, like, like units from Turn A, the series. 
Oh, we're also in a Gundam Unicorn map now. So they don't include the Zaku one, but they include the Juaga or whatever. Like, what the fuck? Like, I want my Zaku one. Like, they could have put the Zaku one sniper in. That I would have been fine with that. That's like the leader of the rebel forces in Unicorn for that episode. Kshatriya is not shooting her funnel. Oh, where are the, the funnels at for, from the Kshatriyas? They're not using them, I guess. I guess it would get kind of crazy when they're standard enemies. Like, there'd be a lot of funnels out already. Maybe that's why. Or wait, are there some out now? No, there are some out now. Did you watch um, Bill Diver's Re-Rise? Oh, uh, that makes sense. I, I, I was going to mention that there's a bunch of Zaku 2 variations. There's a fuck ton of funnels. Okay, I was wrong. They're using them. Okay, so I only have watched up to episode 13 right now. Um, but I, I mentioned it last stream, uh, I ended up binge watching, uh, Build Divers, Build Divers, and then Build Divers Re-Rise, uh, since starting to play this game, and, um, I wasn't a big fan of Re-Rise, to be honest with you, until, like, the last two episodes, when it, like, when shit got real, like, I did not see that coming at all. Like, they hinted at it the whole time, and, but whenever, like, it, they finally realized that, you know, this is actually happening... I thought that was a very good twist. Because there was no, there's never any stakes in the build series, you know what I mean? Like in Build Fighters, there wasn't really any 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 stakes in it until um the very end when the uh, the plasma particle particle stuff happened. Like so like the very la the very end of the series. And then in, in Try, there really never were stakes either, besides that like synchronization thing. That was happening with the bill burning. Okay, that looks badass, but it has a yo-yo. I'm not, I'm not sure if I like the yo-yo. I did see that um there are additional episodes um, of Rise. So I was watching the English dub version. But I might continue watching it in the sub, in, uh, in sub, just because I kind of want to keep watching the series. It's a beam yo-yo. Okay, that's a uh, interesting. The unit design itself, though, is really, I really, I really enjoy it. Not a huge. I would replace the yo-yo though, personally. Did the, uh, does the G-Self have anything special about it? Like, for example, like, the, the Gundams from Double O have Trans Am, the Unicorn has NTD. Does the, uh, the G-Self have anything special? And not necessarily in the game, but like in the, in the show itself.
All right. Oh, we got double O units now, I think. Yeah. Curios. Oh, they're all void. There's Curios. That's probably, that's probably Cherubim. I think. And then seven, double O seven swords. Where's, uh, where's, um, oh my god, what is it called? Tieria. Tieria? Tieria. That's his name. Tieria's mobile suit. Where, where is, um, oh, what the hell is it called? I'm forgetting what its name is. It goes into Nodle. The big version of it, though. I, it's gonna bother me. I'll, I'll check after this mission's over. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I get. This thing does a lot of damage when you ram somebody. If I could hit if I could hit somebody, that'd be nice. Alright, whatever, we're done with that. We got plastic, of course. And more plastic. Oh, we got a part. We got Kshatriya ahead. Dynamis. Curious. Double O. Well, Exia. And then other one, purple one, not purple one. Big with big cannons though, really big cannons. Oh, he's done already. Oh, no. Wait, is she participating in the tournament? Yep, she is. That's cool. Alright, let's go beat her. I wonder what her unit's gonna look like. Alright, Dorothy, let's do it. What do you got? Oh, it's like a no a version of a uh, Noble Gundam, but 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 not Noble Gundam. 
Was it? It's probably gonna have Berserker mode then. Oh. Alright, let's send the funnels out. Wait, it's using the Barbados uh, spear hammer, or not, or spear thing as a broom. <laughs> I think it's a spear mace, maybe? Something like that. Alright, something crazy is gonna happen here, I'm assuming. I thought it had a more complicated name than just mace. I mean, I'm thinking of the wrench mace. That could be what I'm thinking of, too. Ow. Oh god, it's spinning. No, 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 I should not have been doing that. That's my fault. Alright, might as well use these two. Dude, every time that I use Slash Tempest, she moves. Nope. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do last time. I wanted to use the uh, the Barbados sword. I think it's called. I think that might be the sword mace or something like that. It's called, but it has an axe move set and it's considered an axe in the game. I wanted to replace my GN saber with that, but I needed to switch up my my abilities to put sa to put axe damage on. That's what I wanted to do. Guessing they're limit breakers again. Yeah. Alright, so, oh, we got the Funisai Funisaki? Funisaki. Funisaki. I don't know, Master Gunham's horse. We got its head. I don't think we got... Oh, we have Kabakali um, arms? Do we have legs for it? No. I'm sorry. The body is what I was looking for. And we got the backpack. Yeah, it has beam ring, which sounds like something. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, he's gonna drop it on Earth. It's a one-way trip. Very Gundam of you to drop something on Earth. え、ドアが開かない。原因はわからないが、ちょっと前から制御Okay. Well, we can't let him drop that elevator on us. I wonder what it would take to do that real quick. Um, let's see. 
I really like this demolition knife, but it's two-handed, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, two-handed. Am I sorted? Or I am sorted, okay. Sort by X. Sword mace, that's what I was looking for. So if I do that, what does this have on it? It has induced stagger, increase increase EX gauge, piercing slash, and we kill parts, break, saber, DPS. See, I'm almost inclined to break this down and upgrade this with all the stuff from GN Sword 5. And then uh, the DPS really isn't that much different. Oh, really? It's better than all the other two-handers? That's cool. That's good to know. Because I want to use it in some build. I wonder if... I'll do it later. We'll stay. We'll stick with the GN sword for right now. <clears throat> I kind of want to get that worked in, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can't go yet. I gotta check something real quick. For my sanity, at least. It sucks you can't uh, sort by series here. I'll probably get right past it. Gundam Virtue, that's what it was. My god. <clears throat> that was driving me crazy. All right. Okay, it looks like something's infected again. <laughs> Maybe not yet? I don't know, it's purple. Purple's usually bad. I wonder what uh, the boss unit will be. Cause it was the perfect Zeong before, or the, the Neo Zeong at the end of the base game. So I wonder what it'll be in the, in the DLC. All right, what do we got here? That's the uh, a version of the Gop one. It's the hero, hero, Hiraru or something like that. And then I think we have hate Gundam Hazels or Hazel Gundam, however you say that. Yeah. That's from that uh, Zeta base series. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Yeah, it's like Hararu or something like that. It's a go it's a version of the Goblin. Yeah, uh, Advance of Zeta. That's what it's called. We got a side weapon optimizer.
right, we'll take this. All right, we got our funnels back now. It seems like every time we're on this map, it takes forever to get through the first stage. I don't know what the deal with that is. I guess a lot more enemies just spawn in this whenever you get this place, for whatever reason. There we go. Shields. Wait, what do we have now? What, what units are these? That looks like Gundam Seed stuff going on now, maybe. Yeah. We got a gold chest over here. Oh no. What is it having us destroy? Is it uh, turrets or whatever? God damn it, it is. Oh my god, I get it. I get it. You're shooting me. Alright, stop. Where's it, where is it at? Is it up there? It's up there. What's going on over here? All right, let's move on now. Okay, uh, where are we going now? Oh, they're back over there again. I guess we advanced too far. Chasing our turrets. Oh wait, I didn't realize even... Was Will here, was Will here the whole time? I didn't even realize he was on the mission with us. Shit, more turrets popped up. Uh, which, where are we going here? Not that way. Oh my god. 
what it should do is let you fly over the gaps, and if you fall down, you should just like lose a percentage of your health or something. Things are starting to be a little tankier now, it seems, also. They aren't taking as much damage as they were. At least on that volley, they didn't. Like I said, man, every time we do this, we do the the, uh, the purple map, this one, it takes forever. Give me... Okay, next area. Good. Give me a boss fight. Or a squad. Oh, wait. There's Bill beginning in uh, Bear Guy model uh, version 1, I think. Maybe. Uh, just Bear Guy, it says. And we also have the new Gundam and the Sasabi. Great. Great. And a camper as a regular unit. I'm excited that we saw Bill beginning on him though. I was wondering when it would show up. Let's say a, a white version of the Sasabi, like Sasabi Stein, we'll call it, based off the uh, Sinanju Stein. We are taking a lot of fucking damage. Alright, goodbye new Gundam. Or hi new Gundam rather. That's also what's interesting is they put in, um... Oh, because of Isla's Mississauvi. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, what I was going to say now that I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, the High New Gundam is in here, but the, uh, the Nightingale isn't. Uh, is it because Reggie piloted the build beginning Gundam towards the end there? Oh, you literally just said it. Bear guys, China, high new is supposed to be y Yuki Tatsuo's high new grab. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. When did he pilot that? The high new uh, V Rab, Grab, however you say that. Oh my god, let me do the shield! Jeez. Oh, manga thing? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, 
I, well, I wonder why they went with this uh, version of the bear guy when China's isn't it the bear guy three that she uses? Gotcha. Okay, so we were fighting the virus there. Okay. I wonder if we got any parts to the uh, beginning Gundam right there. Well, I'm glad you informed us of that, Rondrix. That was a cool little fun fact. About that group there. So we got its beam saber. I still like those blades. I want to use them in a build. <clears throat> oh, we got the beginning on him head. And... Got the arms. Well, well, Alright, so we got we got a few pieces of it then. Uh, no back... Oh wait, we got his backpack too. Cool. Oh, we were like, quote unquote, purifying the control AI. できません。なんで許可が不許可かということならば許可なのですが、可能か不可能かということならば不可能です。どういうことなんだ？セキュリティシステムにバックドアが仕込まれていたらしく、そこからすべてのコントロールを掌握されてしまいました。それを行った男性
Now what do we got? Unicorn. Oh, you know what also is interesting? They didn't put in the uh, the main unit from Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative. Like the Fenix is in here, but not the... Uh, I don't remember what it, exactly what it is. It's a Gundam, obviously, but it has like uh, all the interchangeable parts and whatnot. I was surprised to see they didn't include it in the game. I mean, I guess the Fenix is a lot more iconic, and it makes sense why they included it. And what would the other unit bring to the table that the Unicorn and Banshee already don't? I guess it's probably the trade-off there. Dude, that attack lasted a long-ass time from Robata. Just fucking them up. That is true, I guess, that the Fenix was before it. Because it was one of the original three units, correct? Like, there was Unicorn, Banshee, and the Fenix. Interesting, though. I wonder why they painted the Fenix all gold. Like, a little uh, over dramatic, wouldn't you say? I don't believe they ever explained that, right? God damn it. Right, but it wasn't it wasn't there it there were three units made though. There was the Banshee, the, the Unicorn, and well the Unicorn, the Banshee, and the the Phoenix. Am I incorrect in saying that? I thought they were all made at the same time. Next area. Oh shit, okay, we're here already. Oh, we got full armor unicorn and the Banshee. The basic Banshee, I think. Oh wait, no, that's the Banshee Norn. Never mind. And I think those are Jagans with it, but they got fucked up already.
I think I'm correct in saying that the full armor unicorn has a similar ability to the Fenix's iridescent wings, right? But it's like the hug thing that it does with the Kshatriya. Alright, who's gonna get it? I think Banshee's gonna get it. Yeah. Wait, oh, we didn't break its guard. Yeah, I think the Phoenix was created after Unicorn 1, or the Unicorn uh, Unit 1 and 2. <clears throat> But, I think it was still made around the same time as them. I don't remember though. I only watched narrative once, admittedly. Like, I don't remember in the whole timeline when um, they put the girl in the Fenex. And like, she starts training on it. Like, I think that might have been after the, the events of... Well then, was it? Was that after the events of Unicorn? It might have been. I don't know. Because they were in the Cyber New Type camp, we'll call it, uh, during Zeta Gundam. Like when they were making all the Cyber New Types. And then that fan. I, I, oh, I'm getting all fucked up now. It, like I said, I watched it once. I'm trying to remember what happens exactly. Alright, core time. Okay, we took control of the facility, I guess. Now what? Well, we get a limit breaker for our trouble. Another new map. Soft chest touch. Yeah, that's that, that's what I was thinking of. So it actually is the full full armor unicorn Gundam arm that does it. Okay. And then we also got the giant boosters from it from that it uses when it's in full armor mode. Wonder if we got the arms. Oh, we did. I'll probably use those on something. I like the double Gatling guns. Okay, and the legs have hand grenade. Okay, that's cool. And then obviously the backpack has all kinds of crazy shit on it. お幸せ。順番に乗り込んでください。あの、警察に任せるべきでは。あんたの言いたいことはわかる。俺だってこいつらに任せたくはない。プライドなんて言うてるアゲン。俺の作ったウイルス駆除システムには強い I guess we're going. Surprise, surprise. We're going to save the day. Oh, no. Alright, let's uh, sit back for a three-hour monologue. So, Elevator 
He's our hype man. Here we go again. Okay, so that's like uh, way bigger than I thought it was. So that's like dropping a colony on Earth. Maybe not quite that big, but still. ステーションをコントロールできないので各種センサーやカメラでトレースできません。コントロールを取り戻すのが先か。ようこそと言いたいところですが、急いで地上へ降りてください。あなたたちは無関係な人。I mean, I think we're already in a dangerous situation, so... Alright, well, they added some stakes to the whole mess of things. I don't understand why we had to go up there to fight it with our gunpla, though. Alright, a light known as future. Probably the last mission, I'm guessing? If I had to bet, I'd say it probably is. Yeah. I wonder what we're gonna fight. I'm really curious to see what he uses. Or what the virus uses, or whatever happens. I think it's more than your company that's at stake here, uh, Will. And it depends on where it would drop. I believe we're in Japan, so I don't think it would hit a U.S. company. I really uh, want to know what this dude's motive is, though. We have not got that answer yet. Oh, wait. There we go. I think he's saying it now. Wait, is that really... Is it going to be like a business thing? Yeah. Oh, we got Epion. Dude, Epion is such a badass design. Okay, so he's doing it because oil prices plummeted after the uh, solar generator thing was created. So no one's using fossil fuel energy anymore. Oh, he's... Okay, and his country survives on oil drilling. Okay. Okay, okay. There's your gray area for all the Gundam fans out there. Wait, my shield's derped out. Look, where are they at? Wait, see? They're like not on the map. They're like up there somewhere. Now I call them back. We're good. That, it's so weird. I don't know why it does it. I 
I figured they were just dirt. Um, I thought, like I said, maybe it was because of the funnels on my feet or on my legs, because whenever I use them, the Fennec shields detach and then reattach. So I, I thought maybe I just had a builder part in like a weird spot, but I don't know. It doesn't happen every time, thankfully. Because that would be very frustrating if it did. Because I do like the Fenix backpack. Like, I think it looks cool, and I like the, uh, having the mechanic of using the shields and, and when we're in NTD and whatnot. Ow. Next area. Give me a boss fight. Maybe. Oh, not yet. We got, I think that's the Isle Strike Gundam, maybe? No, Force Impulse. Wow, I was way off. Okay. I think it's still from Gundam Seed, though. This game has definitely made me realize that I don't know a lot of units in the Mobile Suit Gundam universe. Like, I know a lot of stuff about it, but, like, not nearly as much as I thought. And then we'll see that even again in uh, Gundam vs. Extreme. Wait, Gundam vs. Extreme Axi Boost On or whatever. Because uh, I believe, I, I watched a video, there's 185 units in it, and there's a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of, lot of, lot of units in it. There's a lot of, they, they, that's pretty much everything, I think. Minus like a few select enemies or uh, characters throughout the show. I cannot forget to look into that after I'm finished on stream because I think you might be able to play it tomorrow. It's either this this weekend or next weekend that the uh, it's going to be open to play. Honestly, what I'm got super excited about because obviously the Extreme Versus series is like a fighting game essentially. That's like the main allure to playing it is like the competitiveness. But they also added a single player mode to it, which I thought was pretty cool. Which I believe Extreme Versions had like a single player mode, but it was like, I don't know, it was kind of like just play through a couple missions and that's it. So I, I wonder if they did like more than that with Extreme, with uh, Extreme, or is it Extreme Versus Maxi Boost on whatever the title is. A lot of words jammed together.
Oh, still enemies over here. All right, next area. Probably the final area, if I had to guess. All right, here we go. What are we fighting? Oh, alright, so we're fighting an original unit. Gundam TR6 Dandelion 2. I think, I th wait, is it not an original unit? I don't, RX-124, I have no idea if it actually is or not. Oh no. It might not be original. Oh, it's another advanced update thing. Okay. I was going to say the name makes it so sound like it's from something. Oh, were my shields derped out the whole time? Shit, they're not going to come back now. Great. All right, we need NTD again to get him back. Oh no. No, no, don't boost in front. Wait, what's it doing? Oh god, hold on. Wire funnels? Or something like that? I don't know what they do. I'm sure it's not good, whatever it is. Wait, get off me! Oh, I wonder if we're supposed to destroy these or if I'm wasting my time. Oh, I'm down. Friends. I don't know what just happened right there. What if I just hit you and, and ignore your friends? I mean, they're doing a lot of damage. Maybe I should waste some time and take them out. Alright, can my shields please? They're okay, they're good now. God damn it! All right, come on, guys. Someone pick me up. We're wasting time here. That was probably a waste, but oh well. The big wig cannon, too. So wait, is Advance of Zeta, is that a, a manga or is it an anime? Or is it both?
It sounds cool. Photo novel, okay. I'll have to look it up. I wonder if I can get like where you I can read it at. Or buy it even. I'd buy it if that was a thing. Oh my god, come here. Come on. Oh my god, get off me. Oh, we're getting pieces of it. That's cool. I should say we're getting pieces of the Gundam that's in the uh, the mobile armor. Is probably the right way to say that. All right, shields, don't derp out. Thank you. Now we get the final fight. Alright, that's a pretty cool looking unit. I like it. I'm guessing that's the wound work. TR6 wound work. What the fuck did he just do to me? No! Don't mind me, I'm just gonna shoot you. Thanks. No! Oh wow. I didn't even realize he went down. Yeah, this thing looks badass. Okay, that's not cool. That's not fun. Don't do that. Reverse sword. I like that weapon that it has. No. turn god damn it all right we got him That was pretty cool.
Oh, we got a couple wound wart uh, parts from that too. Squad pick. Almost got it. I was hoping to get whatever weapon it was using, but that might be part of its arm also. Yeah, that's a really cool design. I like that. Oh, it's not part of its arm. Okay. Wait, composite shield booster, TR6, and ranged melee weapon form becomes selectable. Oh, okay. Advances Z, the flag of Titan. Flag, the flag of Titans. Okay. Those legs are pretty cool, too. All right. Well, there we go. We saved the day again. あの男がどこにいるか探してくれ。正式動ステーション全区画を察知します。街灯の人物なし。何だと。Where Is he in the Gundam? <laughs> How the hell are we gonna stop that? あなたたちが漂流するステーションから生還したニュースもちろん見ていました。この機体でテザーを切断したことも知っています。テザーが切断され、カウンターウェイトを失ったステーションは。地球の陰極で勝手に落ちていく。私はこれを落として未来という悪夢を振り払わなければならない。さあ、地上へ降りてください。あなたたちにできることはもう何もありません。どうにかならないの？生身であれをどうにかできるのか？悔しいが。What's a Okay. Oh shit. すまんが我々の未来貴様の悪夢はまだ終わらん。どういうつもりですか？その小さな体でこの機体をどうにかできるとでも。何してるのロボタン？危ないから帰ってきなさい。どうなってんだ？ 宇宙空間で飛行できるようになんて作ってないぞ。備え付けのカイスラスターと無重力化での姿勢制御プログラムを渡しました。あなたからのオーダーだと、あなたはそうしろと言ったのではないのですか？こいつがそう言ったのか。
そんな夢のような未来を無論だ人が未来を夢見たからこそ私は生まれた何とも説得力のある言葉ですね Oh no. Uso, t e s h o What, uh, Robota? All right, someone's going to save him, right? That's not going to be Nantomo, Shikujit Tamonoda. Energy no sweet, was Saki Hodono Ichigi in his cut to Shimata. スラスターは一気以外反応なし地球は主殿 Oh come on 今の私たちには宇宙に飛ばされたロボタを見つけることはできない見つけても迎えに行くことができないでも私たちは信じてる。What the f u c k a r e you serious right now? Come on. そして時間は過ぎていく。今を思い出に未来を現実に変えながら。ロボタさん、大丈夫ですか<笑> Wait, what? In for the no? Robota sa, Honto ni Natskashi. Yo yakumuka ni Korale Masta. Koreva itai. Anata ga uchu e toba sareta toki, sono yukue o sagas koto of Kano de sta. Demo imanara, uchu ni tadao su sent state on Otoshimono demo, mitskeru koto ga de kirun de sio. Uchu mo kingaru ni Korale yo ni nari masta. It's a consumer model Gundam. <laughs> Holy shit. Mobile suits are Jikayo. Hora, Mite Kudasai. Is that us? Nanto. Oh no. There's space colonies. Mosaka. Jin Rui no Daini no Kurusato. Uchu Koroni desio. いったいどれほどの時が流れた。私は。なんという未来に来てしまったのだろう。これが。ロボタさんがみんなと守った未来の姿です。みんなと守った。未来か。共に見たかった。この景色を。人の進歩には驚かされます。あれから三十年で。ああ、そう、we're we're in our forties then。そうか。三十年。三十年。三十年しか経っていないのか。はい。三十年です。なんと。それでは。さあ、帰りましょう。皆さん、お待ちかねですよ。wait are we gonna see grown up misa then。いいほど。私が操縦してもよいか。ダメです。免許持ってませんよね。All right, that was one hell of a twist at the end there. I did not see that coming. All right, that was really good. That was a really good ending. I thought we weren't going to find Robata for a second there, and I was going to get real upset, but it turned out okay. I don't know if there's a reason for me to watch the credits, like if anything happens, or if I should just skip, skip them. I'm guessing it's probably okay. Mobile suits are menkyo se na no ka. Kore wa Will san kara karita mono desu kara jiku o okosu wake ni wa ikimasen. Shibaraku iro iro na koto de shokku o uke sou da. そうですかそれは楽しみですね楽しみうん本当に
楽しみだな。Alright, that was good. That was a nice ending. I got real serious there for a second. I was like, oh god, here we go. But. All right, I think that that wraps the DLC up then. That was good. That was fun. Like that would have been DLC worth purchasing when it came out. A lot of games don't do that right, but this is definitely worth it. I don't know how much it would have cost back then, but you know, this game was definitely worth the money right now. And like, obviously we're not done. There's a lot more you can do. Cause we still have heart, we have extreme mode. And then I believe when you finish that, you unlock new type difficulty. And then also you could spend, you know, countless hours building a million different versions of all these different Gunpla. The question is, what do I want to do now? I kind of want, let's go, let's go back here. Let's see. I really don't like this 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 one Red Wing Sword variant. I'm not. I don't know. It just wasn't. I don't. Know. I, I, it was a cool idea in, in, in like conceptually when I thought about it, but I'm not sure if I really like it. I could play around my Zaku and get it upgraded and use it for a little while. That would be fun. Or this Dom build that I did. I was kind of having fun with that. When it's already level 20. Here, let's uh, let's go back. Let's save this design. Let's load the Zaku. Let's just take a look. Cause I, I was on the fence about using the, the large heat hawk. I was thinking about going over to the beam axe from the Sananju, just to like kind of switch it up. Or maybe even like the dead NG. That could be cool. What is this from? Mobile suit gun mobile suit gunpla build fighters beginning G. Super custom Zaku F2000. Yeah, maybe I'll play around with this a little bit. Um, let's see here. Wonder what, what I have a beam saber on. Oh, it's probably the sniper I was trying to make. We're gonna go all the way down to axes. Wait. Where where did I did I get past it or something? Hold on. Oh, dumbass, I didn't equip it. There we go, now I can find it. All right, what can I bring, what can I bring with me? That? This thing. Okay, so let's see what else we can do now. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, this could take a while. I guess that's okay though, right? You guys don't mind watching me do this? I really would want to get axe DPS up higher. But it could be enough just getting to level 20. That could be enough. 
so what does our beam machine gun have? Beam machine machine gun DPS induced stagger, weapon gauge range, weapon velocity, machine gun DPS. So we want to combine it with a purple or a blue, I think. Let's do the purple right here. And then I don't care about these skills. Give me another ability slot though. Man, I really wish you could sort better. It's just, like gonna take forever to do this. I'm gonna get the machine guns. Wait, actually, what is this orange one up here? We can probably use that. Mm. Well, the thing is, if I'm taking this into... Extreme mode, I don't know where I need to be at, but I want that freezing bullet. That's good. I mean, that's not really an upgrade. It's like going up by like one or two. Wait, oh, that's leveling it up. Oh, actually, we should do that probably. Let's go back. Do package merge. You, you, let's get it to like 20 to 20. I cannot fuck up and accidentally get rid of this lupus beam rifle though. So, Psycho Zaku. Is there actually any cooler Zaku heads? Let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wait. The reason I have the Zaku head on, the Psycho Zaku head on, is for the, uh, the big gun ability. So, I probably need to leave that on there for right now. So, let's do, let's do a package merge first and level it up. And then pair merge. We have two new slots now. We had machine gun DPS on this response speed, which is all good. Optional. Wait, was anyone? No one's using this. Okay, so we'll put on optional. We'll put those two on. I don't think that'd be bad. Oh wow, we have. Okay. What's our durability at? Eight eighty two thousand. So that's pretty good already. That'll increase your spawn speed, which I like. I have enough money. Right? Yeah, I have plenty of money. Ooh, wait a second. We don't have machine gun DPS in it? We do have it. Why is it not upgrading it? Oh, it's this Gatling DPS. Wait, read correctly. Okay, um, actually, let's get rid of... Why is blade antenna not working? Would wonder if full psycho frame would work. Apparently... Oh, wait, I don't think it will. It's better than magnet. Ma okay, so we'll get rid of magnet coating now. And then we can put nano skin on. And then we have room for one more ability. Um, I don't know what phase shift armor does. Can I use it though? I can. Oh, physical resistance plus 15%. All right, that's that's not bad. Um, I mean, you might as well, might as well just do it. I didn't mean to click out of that. Go back to assemble. All right, let's go to the body. It's only level 13, damn. Well, let's get it up to 20. All right, what do we have on our body right now? We can't use half the shit on it, so we can fix that up. Um, let's get rid of, what, what can't we use? Movable frame and psycho frame. So let's get rid of those two. Put on power extender. And then what else can we do here? I wonder if we can do pseudo solar reactor. Oh, is that um 
Okay. Well, can we we can't do clavicle antenna, so we'll put the durability on then. We can put the Ahab reactor on. Yeah. Wait, why not? Uh, we only have room for one. All right, we'll put that on then. Actually, I don't want to get rid of the wild wart stuff because I don't know. If we, I don't think we have enough to buy it. We'll do this though. That'll give us two more slots for our body. I like that. Oh, actually, if we can get rifle damage on our chest, that'd be cool. I don't know if that's a thing or not. It might not be. Wait, can we have phase shift armor? Oh, we can. Okay. All right, so I want to see if we have anything good. I really would like rifle or axe DPS. The axe DPS would be cool too. But I don't know if that's on, if that's a chest ability in general. I don't think we, I also don't think we need the uh, thruster capacity. I can probably replace that with something more interesting. Let's go back up here. There's an optional equipment DPS that was pretty high. Let's get rid of that. I think that's good enough for now. And then I got custom level 13. You got a long way to go. So, ooh, we're gonna not get rid of that. Or wait, what does this have on it? I can't see. Why do I have, oh, I do have a whip weapon on, I think. Man, it, it sucks you can't see what's on these things. Wait, Goku J, oh, that's for the Dom. All right, what can we do here now? Well, I want response speed. That's always good. Axes are slow, so we can swing it faster. That's good. Okay, there's a duplicate going on here. So what can I get rid of that? Isn't, can I? Okay, it's a duplicate. All right, let's just do this then. All right, so a better axe DPS would be cool. There we go. Can we put on full psycho brain? Really? No, oh, all right. Oh, well, we have no durability upgrade on it. We should probably get, let's get rid of, um, our whip DPS. I really don't use it that much anyway. That's like 72,000 more health. I think that's that's a good trade-off. That optional equipment DPS sucks ass though. Try get that up. Maybe? No? No optional equipment DPS increases? From 710, there we go. All right, I think that's fine. All right, our legs next.
All right, let's see what we can pair merge now. All right, so we don't have any duplicates on this. That's good. What do we have? We have beam resistance, auto repair, durability, recovery effect, and equipment gauge capacity. If we could find some damage increases, that'd be good. How about we get rid of um, that and put on movement speed? Can I use move, movable frame? I can't. All right, so we'll get rid of it. But we got the two more. We have two more slots from that now. Striking spike. I wonder what that is. I can use whatever it is, so we'll go with it. All right, so in a perfect world, we could get some damage increases here. I don't know if that is a thing on this part, though. So we have 3,000 auto repair per second, which I guess isn't bad. I don't really care about beam resistance, though, do I? I mean, we could put, like, straight... Um, Maybe it's okay. Damn, it has a lot of shit on its shield. I feel like this is better than this. All right, that's fine. All right, backpack is next. All right, hold on, actually. I'm not opposed to dropping the camper backpack. So let, let me go back real quick. I wonder, let's see what our options are. Let's go up to level 20s and see what we got going on here. Actually, I had something marked here. What, what was it? The Fen oh, it's the Fenix backpack. Or oh, that beam saver shield booster and enhanced shield booster. Okay. I, I like have no idea what I want to go with, to be honest with you. That actually, the beam cannon could be kind of cool. I really don't want the beam sabers. Wow, the Wild Wart's uh, backpack looks really cool. Camphor, Mobile Worker. What is Mobile Worker? Is it just a big backpack? Unicorn. The Zaku Mine Layer. We could rock the Sasabi backpack. It actually doesn't look that bad on it. I don't know. I don't know what to go with. It would just be cool to have something interesting on the back of the Zaku. I mean, the camper, I mean, the, the it's, the bazookas are fine. I mean, they just aren't really anything interesting to use. I'm like kind of considering the Dovin Wolf. So we have the beam cannons, anti-ship missiles, and whatever Incom is. Stark Jagan is, okay, just a regular backpack. What's full armor Gundam have on it? Oh, it's a big ass backpack. That's regular. Yeah, it's the backpack. Maybe we go for the Gelgoog Cannon. Being that this is a pretty simple Xeon based unit. Oh, Incom is funnel slash base, but wire connected. Okay, cool. I kind of like that. Maybe I should go with it. Let's look at that real quick. All right, we have one up here somewhere, I think. I 
I mean, that wouldn't look bad. Change the color scheme up. It would give a little, uh, little something to the unit. Is there a uh, better version of it that I wonder? I think there was somewhere down here. Yeah, it's only level 14, but what's weird to think about Ronderix? All right, where's our old backpack at? Wait, the Devon Wolf was developed from the Gundam Mark V. I didn't know that. You are a wealth of Gundam trivia. That's cool though, I didn't know that. I actually don't know what the Gundam Mark V looks like. Let's do a pair merge on this guy. Oh, if anyone's curious, that Nightbot messages just popped up. Uh, I'm looking for a graphic designer for the channel. I want to redo basically everything uh, from like the logo to uh, all the panels. I mean, everything. So just a note, I'm gonna let's see what this link is real quick. I'm curious. Oh, wow. The Gundam Mark V, that's cool. Gundam Wars 2 Mission ZZ. It is piloted by Brave Caught and Amuro Ray. Amuro pilots it, wow. That's really cool, I had no idea. It is, it is kind of weird looking for a Gundam though. Okay, uh, we have Col... Col that's col Colioid, Coloid, Particle Machine Control, and Vernier Binder. Oh, really? That's cool. I didn't know that. I, I could see... Okay, he had one with a more Gundam-style head. That makes sense. The more you know, I guess, right? All right, well, give me something interesting. I mean, boost speed is cool, I guess. Part break, repair, boost speed, durability, boost recovery speed. I mean, I want, I want damage. Give me damage. I won't find a lot of damage here. Put that on. I think optional gauge stuff is going to be really good. Being that backpack gives us all kinds of interesting things to do. Ooh, that Gundam Gushin. Holy shit, it's got a pretty good layout on it. Um, all right, I, I think I want to keep this stuff, but I do want to get rid of, let's get rid of that, that. So the silver bullet was developed from the Dovin Wolf. Care to explain what the silver bullet is? All right, and next our shield. Wait, what the fuck are you showing me here? Custom general purpose mobile suit, the Carmen. Comprised of salvage MSM 04 and Agagai, ARX 014 Silver Bolt RX Gundam, the Bromium, Dendro Dendrobium Stave. Oh my god, what what is this thing? This is a thing? Is it like in a manga or something? It must be, right? All 
All right, the silver bullet looks like a real unit. I can believe that. It's a variant of the Devon Wolf. Wow. All right, now we're, we're back in that uh, we're back in that deep Gundam lore again. Like not your everyday, not everybody knows this kind of stuff. I think we're just gonna call that good and go paint our backpack and then do a mission on extreme difficulty and see how that goes. I thought I had the Zaku green saved, apparently not. I can find it in here though. Fifty thirty. Oh, great. What color gray did I use for this goddamn thing? I want to say that I, it was this one. Maybe, or was it this one? Hold on. Let's do that. Make might make, make my life a little bit easier. Wait, what are we painting? Oh, that's actually, uh, hold on. Let's leave this the color it is, that's fine. It's the inside of the boosters. Okay, so we got 50, 50, 30, 55. Fifty. Wait, chipping is 30. And then damage is 65. All right, let me go back to assemble and put our new skill, our new skills on before I forget. I think I want to keep this that that layout. So we have heat rod, missile pod, shoulder beam cannon. Anti-ship missile. Uh, we'll put Incom there, and then repair kit there. All right, I think it's good. Let's save it. Oh no, I fucked my camphor up. It's okay. All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna get back to the main story and just do the first mission on extreme with our Zaku and probably get our ass whooped, but we'll see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes uh, a little poorly at least. <clears throat> but we'll see. I mean, damage is fine, I think. Oh, we have Dissolve on. That's weird. Uh, that's the first time I've used... Um, oh, we're taking a lot of damage, actually. We're going to have to get good, probably. All right, let's see what... Uh, we got missiles. Very cool. We got a lot of missiles, actually. Holy shit. And then we have... Oh, wait. We're... 
Just little guys. Little, little guys come right off our back. Okay. I mean, I think we're hitting them fine. We just, uh, how much health do we actually have? Not a lot. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but we're doing it now. So our durability might be a little bit low for this stuff. I feel like we're taking a lot of damage. But it also could just be because it's on extreme mode. But I think our the uh, our damage output's probably okay. I like those missiles actually. That's, that's cool. I don't know if the funnels actually did much of anything, but we'll, we'll, we're still gonna use them for the hell of it. Oh, we're getting master grade parts now also. Alright, so we have the same owl. Easy. And we're all. Oh, we got a Master Grade Zaku backpack. Zaku S backpack, actually. I wonder how important element elemental damage becomes later in the game, like now. Like, I can't see it hurting to have it, but I think it, your base damage is lower when you do elemental damage. Don't quote me on that, because I don't actually know, but I, I think it is. This attack seems so powerful to me. Like, way stronger than the saber attacks. Alright, let's send our... Wait, I'm gonna call them back in. Where are they at on my back? Stop shooting me for one second. Oh, they're like... Okay, they're like little compartments right there. Okay. Another thing that I want to do, I do want to do a build with the Roz and Zulu arms. I think they're really cool. I have a lot of builds I want to try out. Elemental just overall good. Yeah, I kind of figured that's how it was going to work. I noticed that some of the weapons might do a little bit less damage. Oh, okay. So there's no, oh, there's no resistances or anything then. So it's just flat out better to have it than to not have it. Well, good thing we got it. By accident, but we still have it. I like these missiles a lot. Oh, they're like homing missiles, too. I don't know how much damage those little, uh... The Incom is doing, but it's still kind of cool to have it. Next area.
I think so far it's doing fine. I mean, I think we might be a little on the weaker side, but once we start getting better equipment, we should probably upgrade further than where we're at here also. Because we're only at 20. 2021, 20, and I, that's where I think you should be at for uh, hardcore difficulty. What do we got? Oh, this dude again. Still by himself. Oh, okay. Alright, so the elements do have, there is a reason to use each element. They, they each have their own use, except for uh, fire and corrosive are essentially just extra damage. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this backpack. I'm happy I put it on. Wait, recall them. Wait. There they go. So I think we pretty much got all the same stuff. Oh, we got, they're all master grade though. Cool. Got big boy Zaku, big boy Gundam, big boy GM, big boy Zuda arms. Well, once we connect to enough master grade parts, I'll put one together. Uh, we're not going to watch the cutscenes again though. There's no point in doing that, I don't think. All right, let's do another mission. Is she in the regular, the, the OG Azalea? Yep. All right, here we go. Zaku, round two. The only thing that sucks about the beam cannon is that you're stationary and I seem to take a lot of damage when I'm stationary now. So it's gonna be kind of hard to sit there and like let that whole beam go. Oh, we need to send our little units out. I like these homing missiles though, those are cool. stuck on this side now. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, we got a Gundam. Well, they were kind enough to stand in it, so it worked out better than it should have, I think. Now we got 
Oh, what is this? This is a B Gundam Dash. Or B Dash Gundam, rather. Oh, we wasted half the missiles. I keep reading my shield as a beam on it. Okay, that hurts. So, I feel like we're getting to a point, slowly, where it's gonna make sense to have our repair skill as one of our, or, uh, as one of our um, EX abilities. As like a safety net, so you always have a repair. Unless we get like super overpowered, then I don't think we'll have to worry about it. But like where we're at right now, like I don't think it would be a bad idea. That was a waste. Didn't mean to hit that button. Excuse me, Super Dragon Gundam. Just chill for a second, please. Thank you. when people play this game if anybody just like builds the original suits and just plays as the base suit or if everyone always makes you know custom builds because I feel like it would be cool to play as a couple of the original suits without any like crazy modifications on them oh god we just got burning fingered or whatever Noble Gundam has Ooh, we're gonna go down we're gonna go down Okay, we're good. That got a little sketchy there for a second. But we're, we're fine now. Like, maybe not play as the base Zaku 2, just because, like, that's kind of boring. You don't have a lot going on there. But, like, some of the units have a lot of abilities on their own without, like, all the custom parts and everything. So, I can see how like, it could be a lot of fun to play. Oh, got a Gundam with a uh, Gundam hammer. Alright, let me line this cannon up. Actually, not yet. Oh, fuck, I used it. Uh, we're gonna run out. Our burst is gonna run out before this does. I mean, we're getting a bunch of damage, so it's kind of a good trade-off, I guess. But no big gun. I actually don't think the big gun is even that great of an ability. I just prefer to see that than the sword. Use the sword almost the entire playthrough. Now we got... Is that a Gundam G... Like a Gundam 3? G3, whatever it's called? Yeah, G3 Gundam. Yeah. All the missiles.
You made something closely resembling the Nemo 3 with sled adjustments. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that'd be fun, like, to just try to build, like, if you just tried to play as, like, some of the base units, you know what I'm saying? Just to switch it up. Missiles. Oh, it's in Berserker mode. I feel like a Noble Gundam build would be fun, too. Make a, uh, Gunpla Waifu. Like that one that you brought before Ronders is really cool. I forget what his name was, but it was a cool unit. Wait, I want this first. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, this is different. I don't think I've seen these guys. I don't know if I've seen these guys. These guys before. Maybe I'll do a master grade Zagok build. See what that turns out to look like. The thing is, I won't have a lot of master grade parts yet, so it could be a little weird. Big gun. Oh, I got him. All right, last area. We got two Shining Gundams. Are, are the Master Grade units better than the High Grade? Or are they just aesthetically different because they're larger? I, I saw something on YouTube that said that the Master Grades in the end are no stronger. They just you know, are the larger size of the units when they're fully upgraded. Oh god, oh god, oh no. Oh, I think I got, I got shining fingered. Yeah.
I never thought about it. The Shining Gundam kind of had like an old school version of NTD mode, like the way that the 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 parts worked, how they like slid out, slid open to reveal what's on like the the different kind, like different coding of parts underneath. So that concept for the unicorn was like not new, totally, I guess. Master Grade Italian is just larger, but extreme difficulty has higher level drops than hardcore with much higher base numbers on the white text abilities on parts, so, that, so in a sense they are better. Gotcha, okay. Alright, yeah, get all pissed off, your friend's dead. Big gun! No! Or is it aiming? Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, yeah, you can walk in front of it, I guess. But you can upgrade your high grade parts just as far. Okay. So, in a se essentially, if you are upgrading master grade parts, you'll end up spending less GP. Because they start off higher. Oh shit. Misa. <clears throat> Alright. Mission 2 down. I don't think anything new came from that. Besides, like, you know, more Master Grade stuff. Oh, I guess we should, we should take a look at the shop and see if anything new is there, too. We haven't looked at it since we finished the game. See if we can what uh if we have any new units we can purchase from the high grades. So we got the full armor gundam or full armor unicorn gundam rather, beginning 30, cup of Kali. That is a badass design. I really like that. Minus the yo-yo. I'm not a fan of the yo-yo. We, we did get the ball, which is cool. Uh, Gundam Rose, Gundam Age 3 Normal, and then everything else I had last time. Alright, so we can do a Master Grade Zaku, GM, uh, Gundam, Dragon Gundam, G3 Gundam, Infinity Justice, Rising, and Shining. And then, I'm actually just gonna... <laughs> Alright, Misa, Misa, Oh no, you don't go away. No, you don't actually go away, you're still talking. Just get all, I mean, I, I might as well just grab all this stuff. Oh my god, yes, this one. I might be broke, but it's worth it. Why didn't she say it for the beam flag? There it goes. Oh wow, I'm running out of money. No! Alright, we have every build part now, I think. Oh, fuck. And I'm I'm not actually broke. I can sell parts, so we're fine. But we have to stay as Char for right now.
Your pseudo Nemo needs upgrades to even handle hardcore. Yeah, that's how I built this sniper test build and it got its ass whooped on a normal mission. Uh, so it definitely wasn't ready. The Dom Kai did fine on normals. I, it probably would have trouble on hardcore though because it doesn't have really any skills on it. I, this Zaku seems like it's fine on extreme. I'm guessing our Red Wing version 2 would be fine because it blew through hardcore. So it probably would be okay. Like, let's compare the specs. About the same amount of health. Actually does more melee DPS and range DPS. Alright, maybe I take that back. The Zaku is actually stronger on paper than the Red Wing in all categories, except that it doesn't have a trance or a, yeah, a trance mode. So that could make it, you know, a difference, I guess. That's interesting. Well, I guess that the Red Wing needs upgraded again now to compete. But anyways, I think with that, I'm going to wrap up for the evening. Uh, next stream will be on Sunday. Uh, next scheduled stream will be on Sunday. I'm not sure what we're going to play yet. Um, I'll see if RP is able to play uh, some co-op. If he is, we'll probably play uh, Guide Eater 3. Just because we've been putting that off. And we, I kind of want to finish the story of that. And we're kind of almost there with it. So I want to finish that and uh, move on to another game on the channel. So what will probably happen is we'll finish God Eater 3. Then this will become our co-op game, because I know he's really enjoying this game too. And then I'll start another uh, single player game. Um, it'll probably be a Final Fantasy. I'm Like I, I mentioned before that I wanted to get back to Final Fantasy 4, and I think that might be where I'm headed. I'm not sold on it yet. There's a couple other games that I mentioned on the, like, you know, possibly covering, but I'll decide that when the time comes. Uh, also, I'll look, I'm gonna look into it. There's a demo coming out for um, Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost on. Uh, I'll see. This is, it's like, a, like it's like available on like Fridays and Saturdays or something like that. So I wanna I do want to play the demo or beta, whatever you want to call it for that. So if that is available this weekend, I will be streaming it. So uh, I'll tweet about it and put it on the channel schedule and that kind of shit whenever I find out. I'm actually probably gonna look into it right after stream. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. The game actually looks really good. Uh, I played uh, Gundam Extreme Versus, and that was really fun. So I'm sure this one will be fun, too, if not a lot better. So there's 185 units, plenty of things to choose from. So anyways, with that, I'm going to wrap up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and make sure you follow the channel. Peace.